a sticker on the back of a lorry proclaiming it won't go the UK has highlighted the contempt with which some on the continent regard Britain after Brexit, a Twitter user has claimed, meanwhile, a financial expert has said the City of London is still numero uno after Brexit, in response to a new survey suggesting fewer than 100 top bankers have so far quit the square mile for Europe. A picture of the lorry, and sticker, was shared by Sabanaut Mike, who commented, European truckers don't seem averse to publicising their avoidance of the UK post-Brexit mess, there was no indication as to when the picture was taken, but the location was given as S16, E60 Vorarlberg, which would place it in Western Austria. The vehicle itself has an lieutenant abbreviation, short of Lithuanian. David Buick has predicted even those financiers who have upped sticks, will be back. Elsewhere, figures published yesterday by the European Banking Authority suggested just 95 bankers earning €1 million Euros a year or more relocated before Brexit. Mr Buick, who has in the past worked for RP Martin, Kirkland Whitaker and London Deposit Agencies and who is a regular commentator on BBC, brushed off concerns voiced by management consultant Richard Barfield on social media, tweeting, Be as negative as you like about Brexit and the city, your privilege. You will never persuade me that the City of London is anything but numero uno for financial services in Europe, including your beloved EU, responding to a suggestion by another Twitter that many brokers were being forced to move to the continent, Mr. Buick added, hope they have fun. They will be back. The EBA's report said, in 2019, the largest share of high earners of 3,519, 71% of the total number of high earners, was located in the United Kingdom, UK. Most of the member states across the EU registered a slight increase in the number of high earners, particularly Germany, France, and Italy. The report added the increase of high earners resulted mostly from the impact of the relocation of staff from the UK to EU27 as part of Brexit preparations. In addition, for some institutions, the overall good financial results, particularly in corporate banking, and the ongoing restructuring and consolidations, which led to higher than usual severance payments, played an important role in the overall increase of high earners.